So Sattva and Casper are two brands that have been around since the beginning of this whole bed in a box online mattress craze. But how does the Lumen Leaf from Sattva compare to the Casper mattress? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's comparison. Hey there, I'm Wes with The Slumberyard and hopefully you wanna learn about mattresses because that's what we do over here at The Slumberyard. And in this video, we're basically putting the Casper head to head with Lumen Leaf. And we're gonna talk about everything that you need to know about these mattresses, starting with their policies, then we'll get into their similarities differences, feel, firmness, construction, all of that, pricing at the end. And then at the very end, I'll try to have a final verdict for you and answer some of the questions that you still might have, like which mattress ultimately should you go with? Now, if you enjoy this video along the way, hit the thumbs up button. And if you need any more information about tons of other beds or other beds from Casper or Sava, check down below in that description box. But let's get into this Lumen Leaf versus the Casper comparison. At the slumber, yeah. All right, so before I get into everything that you need to know about these mattresses, like what they're made up of and how they feel and how firm they're gonna be, I do wanna say that both of these brands did send us these beds for free to review, test them out, and tell you guys about them. But if you order either online, they're gonna get to you with completely free shipping. Now, the Casper is a pretty traditional bed in a box mattress. It'll ship to your house in a big old box. I'm pretty sure they're one of the ones that started this whole thing, but all you gotta do is drag that thing in your home, start ripping off all the packaging, and then the bed will expand in front of your eyes. Now, since the Casper is an all foam mattress, you might wanna give it a day or two or at least a couple of hours to fully inflate and get to its true firmness and feel before you start harshly judging the bed. Now, in the case of Lumen Leaf, this bed will actually be delivered to you through a process called white glove delivery. And that's basically where a local delivery team will bring the bed to your home, full size, ready to go. And sometimes they'll even set it up for you and haul away your old mattress for free. So white glove delivery is a pretty cool service to have, especially if you don't wanna lift a heavy bed. Now, once either one of these mattresses are in your possession, you get a sleep trial. With the Casper, you get 100 nights. So basically three months to test the thing out in the comfort of your own home with your own sheets, pillows, and whatnot. And with the Lumen Leaf bed, you actually get a full year sleep trial. So 365 nights in your own home, testing the bed out and starting to, you know, formulate your opinion of whether you want to keep this bed for the foreseeable future. Now, if you do decide to return the Lumen Leaf mattress, you will have to pay a small transportation fee. And with the Casper mattress, you can get free returns, but hopefully you enjoy either one of these mattresses and you want to keep them. And if so, they're both backed by warranties. The Casper has a 10 year warranty and the Lumen Leaf mattress has a lifetime warranty. So pretty nice warranty in terms of the Lumen Leaf. But if you need any more information in terms of those warranties or those sleep trials or anything else policy wise, check down below in the description. We'll have helpful links for you down there. But let's just jump right into this comparison and talk about one of the main differences between these beds, which would be construction. Now they may appear similar since they're both all foam beds, but in terms of the Casper, this is just a simple three layer all foam bed, whereas the Lumen Leaf has a little bit more bells and whistles to it. So the Casper has support foam on the bottom, then a transition layer, and then an open cell foam, which Casper dubs Airscape. But all that is is basically little holes drilled in the top of the mattress to help with some airflow and just a normal cover. Now in terms of the Lumen Leaf, they have support foam on the bottom, then a transition layer, but then above that is a memory foam layer and then a Euro pillow top. And the whole thing's wrapped up in an organic cotton cover that even has a cooling strip in the center third of the mattress. And this construction for Lumen Leaf will add up to give the bed more of a responsive new age memory foam feel. You know, since it does have that pillow top, you might get some pillow top qualities, but in general, we would say it's a really responsive memory foam feel. You're not gonna get any of that stuck in the mud feeling. It's not gonna be like a Nectar or a Tempur-Pedic where it's slow to respond. It's gonna respond rather quickly. And that can also help out if you're a combination sleeper or just like to change between different sleeping positions or different sides at night. Now in the Casper bed, that transition layer is a memory foam, but this bed's not gonna have a memory foam feel pretty much at all. Instead, we would say it's just a soft neutral foam one. You might feel some tiny hints of the memory foam, but in general, we would say it's pretty neutral and just soft and accommodating. You know, a bed like Casper is something that we say that nine out of 10 sleepers would sleep on and just be like, yeah, I could sleep on that for many more days to come. I personally slept on a Casper mattress for some years and I really like that soft neutral foam feel. You know, it's not gonna be maybe exactly what you want if you're looking for a memory foamy bed, but it can work for pretty much everyone. The feel is just really accommodating and adding to the whole accommodating nature of the Casper is its firmness. It's right smack at a medium on our firmness scale, so it will work for all sleeper types, 
back, stomach, side, and combination. And in terms of the Lumenleaf mattress, this bed's available in two firmness options. They have their relaxed firm, which is right around a medium firm on our firmness scale. So that should work for all sleeper types as well. And then they have their firm, which is near a proper firm. So that should be better for any strict back or stomach sleepers, at least based on what we've seen over here at the Slumberyard. You know, most back and stomach sleepers tend to prefer firmer mattresses, but if you're a side or combo sleeper who wants a really firm bed, you could also look into that Lumenleaf firm. And while any sleeper type can get by on either one of these mattresses. If you're above the 200 to 250 pound range, over here at the Slumberyard, we tend to recommend beds with pocketed coils. So maybe something to look into, but that's great because a bunch of beds from Safa and a bunch from Casper do have coils inside for support. So definitely worth looking into. I'll link them all down below in the description box. But again, either one of these beds could also work for you. It's just, you know, preference. Now in terms of X factors, things that make beds different or kind of special features they have, in terms of the Casper, they don't really have much. You know, it's just a really accommodating bed that most people will probably enjoy sleeping on. And in terms of the Lumenleaf mattress, I mentioned a little bit up top, but they have a cooling strip in the center third of the bed. So that might move the needle for any hot sleepers out there. In terms of our opinion, we don't think this is gonna actively cool you down at night. You know, a lot of things go into temperature regulation, like how hot you're keeping your room or the types of sheets you're using or just what time of year it is. You know, if it's really hot and you live in a tropical place, it's probably just gonna be hotter. Or if it's really snowy, it'll definitely be colder. Now at this point in the video, let's talk about price, how much you're gonna be paying if you go the route of the Casper or Lumen Leaf. And I do wanna say that both of these mattress brands do like to change their pricing and promotions from time to time. So definitely check down below in the description to see whatever is current. But in terms of these two beds, if you're going the route of Lumen Leaf, you're definitely going the more luxurious route and the price will reflect that. So for a queen size, after discount, you should be paying anywhere from the 2000 to the $2,100 mark. And Sava as a brand used to never really offer discounts, but now they're doing it on a pretty regular basis. So definitely check down below in the description box to see whatever discounts they're currently offering. Offering. And if you would like to use those, that helps us out over here at the Slumberyard and we really appreciate that. Now, in terms of the Casper, this is definitely gonna be the more budget-friendly option between these two. As of when I'm recording this video, you should be able to pick up that queen size for around the $1,000 mark MSRP. And, you know, currently I'm seeing a discount on it. So again, definitely check down below in that description box to save some money with the Casper. But that is basically the short story when talking about price and talking about pretty much what these mattresses have to offer. So let's give you our final verdict. Well, I would check out the Casper if you're looking for a bed with a soft neutral foam feel that's right at a medium with an all foam designed and it's gonna be a little bit cheaper after discount. And check out the Lumen Leaf mattress if you're not afraid to spend up and you want something a bit more luxurious with two firmness options that has more of a responsive memory foam feel and some really consumer friendly policies. But that's just what we think over here at the Slumberyard or the Yard is the kids are calling it, but what do you guys think? Have you tried the Casper? I'm sure you've heard of it, or have you heard of Lumen Leaf or tried that? Write us down below in those comments. We wanna hear from you. And if you need any more information about these beds or other beds from Sotva or Casper, check down below in that description box. And if you enjoyed this video, we would really appreciate a thumbs up, but you can always subscribe to the Slumberyard for so many more mattress videos just like this one. But that's gonna do it for me. I'm Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep. We're hip with the kids, Wes. Yeah, follow us on TalkTick. It's the new one. Oh, is it TikTok? Yeah, I think oh, it's, it's TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, Whoops. Okay. Whoopsie. Bye, everybody.